Hello. Okay, so the Dr. Dre record that changed my life. And granted, I only started listening to Dre. I was born in 91, so I only started listening to Dre in when I was about 10 years old. But this was the first time I had heard something. I was like, who the fuck produced this? Look at how clear that is. To the what? To the boogie oogie oogie. What's cracking? To send me laid back and kick the old templistic bitch shit on slim shit. That? So I heard that. And I was like, okay. Let's go back. And I fucking heard. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is. Dog, when I that shit, I think my whole life, of what it was, gonna become, just flashed before my eyes when I heard that shit. Hey, my name is. My name is. My name is. It's like. I just can't believe he's in the hospital right now. I really just. I really hope he's okay. So weird, man. Dre means so much to me, personally, like musically. Just, it's, I wouldn't have like it's like part of my like his, like him coming up is like part of my DNA. As a record producer, like drums like this, y'all ready for this? There would be no. There would be no second album of mine. And that's another thing that just like fucked me up about Dre. He would put um, the open crash symbol after every four bars. Like, big open hi hat. Nothing complicated, just like fucking eighth notes the whole time. Dre also made me like realize that just because your song's in B minor, your piano can be a little sharp. And as long as your vocal's in tune, it's all just a vibe. It doesn't all have to be on the same plane. Things can be sharp, things can be flat. I learned that from him. I'm listening to his stuff. I mean, man, I just hope he's okay. Can't set this new year off with bad news. Not even putting that. I take that back. I'm not putting that shit out in the in the fucking world. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> 